costs here are going to tie a pretty simple little fly, a real useful, versatile fly called a grabber. And it uh, utilizes several materials, uh, some dubbing on the body, on the shank of the hook. Uh, so a little bit of flash, a little bit of uh, living rubber, and uh, marabou. And that's pretty much it. So we will start with the hook and the vise. And this is tied most of the time with a bead chain. And use either large or medium bead chain depending on the hook size. Start out, put your thread on the, on the hook just a little bit back from the eye of the hook. Not, not much, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Lay a little base and then tie the bead chain which has its own kind of a little eyed effect and it's pretty easy to attach with figure eight. You can do this a couple of ways if you if you wish. You can you can put a super glue or zappa gap on the thread base between the eyes. It's not really necessary, but you can do it. After the, uh, after the eyes are positioned and figurated on the hook, bring the thread back to the back of the shank, just about in line with the point of the hook on the bottom. And get yourself some dubbing. It can be white, off-white, kind of an underbody of dubbing. And the thing about dubbing, you can use dubbing wax if you have it. More often than not, I don't have it handy, so I simply moisten the tip of my finger and roll the dubbing, twist it like that. So you're making just kind of a fat, kind of a fat little underbody. Forward to right behind the eyes. And with that, you can go with in no specific order, but, but a few strands of, of crystal flash. Just wrapped behind the eye and tied down. A couple, three pieces of, of living rubber. flies. I uh, just happen to have some green black here. I've used a number of different colors. It doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. It's more movement, I think. And the length usually just to extend back. I always end up tying it in and then shortening it after I do, but it'll extend just maybe a half an inch behind the eye of the hook or the, the back end of the hook. So I always tie it long and then I'm ready to cut part of it off. And then the marabou. And the marabou, like I say, can be, you can do this different ways. You can, you can tie a little bit of orange, not much, but just a little bit for some, I like orange in a lot of underwater bottom bouncing type patterns. It doesn't have to be a lot. top again. And you can come with usually two or three colors of marabou. Usually the olive browns is what I usually use. Just good basic general colors. Tie a little shank of brown. And then with that, Rotate the hook and come underneath the underside. Move the thread to the front of the eye and then tie in the last piece is the other, other marabou, which is in this case going to be olive. It's a good 
good general purpose color also and stack it just right there in front of the eye just enough and have to be a lot and then wood finish wood finish and coat it with head cement there's a dab of head cement is really all it takes That's a grabber, and it will ride hook up. If the bead chain eyes will invert it, just like just like a set of dumbbell eyes will, and we're done.